Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024. Thank you for spending this time with me in God's Word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. Our psalm for today is Psalm 98. Psalm 98, a psalm. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has performed wonders. His right hand and holy arm have won him victory. The Lord has made his victory known. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen our God's victory. Let the whole earth shout to the Lord. Be jubilant, shout for joy, and sing. Sing to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and melodious song, with trumpets and the blast of the trumpet. Shout triumphantly in the presence of the Lord our King. Let the sea and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it, resound. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains shout together for joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world righteously and the peoples fairly. Yesterday, in our reading from Leviticus, we saw the inauguration of the priestly service of Aaron and his sons. Today, we're going to see two of Aaron's sons disobey the Lord's commands concerning their priestly service. And we'll also hear more regulations that the Lord lays down for those who will serve him as priests. Aaron's sons, Nadab and Abihu, each took his own fire pan, put fire in it, placed incense on it, and presented unauthorized fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them to do. Then fire came from the Lord and consumed them, and they died before the Lord. Moses said to Aaron, This is what the Lord has spoken. I will demonstrate my holiness to those who are near me and I will reveal my glory before all the people. And Aaron remained silent. Moses summoned Mishael and Elzaphan, sons of Aaron's uncle Uziel, and said to them, Come here and carry your relatives away from the front of the sanctuary to a place outside the camp. So they came forward and carried them in their tunics outside the camp, as Moses had said. Then Moses said to Aaron and his sons Eleazar and Ithamar, do not let your hair hang loose, and do not tear your clothes, or else you will die, and the Lord will become angry with the whole community. However, your brothers, the whole house of Israel, may weep over the fire that the Lord caused. You must not go outside the entrance to the tent of meeting, or you will die, for the Lord's anointing oil is on you. So they did as Moses said. The Lord spoke to Aaron, you and your sons are not to drink wine or beer when you enter the tent of meeting, or else you will die. This is a permanent statute throughout your generations. You must distinguish between the holy and the common, and the clean and the unclean, and teach the Israelites all the statutes that the Lord has given to them through Moses. Moses spoke to Aaron and his remaining sons, Eleazar and Ithamar, Take the grain offering that is left over from the food offerings to the Lord, and eat it prepared without yeast beside the altar, because it is especially holy. You must eat it in a holy place because it is your portion and your sons from the food offerings to the Lord, for this is what I was commanded. But you and your sons and your daughters may eat the breast of the presentation offering and the thigh of the contribution in any ceremonially clean place because these portions have been assigned to you and your children from the Israelites' fellowship sacrifices. They are to bring the thigh of the contribution and the breast of the presentation offering, together with the food offerings of the fat portions, to present as a presentation offering before the Lord. It will belong permanently to you and your children, as the Lord commanded. Then Moses inquired carefully about the male goat of the sin offering, 
but it had already been burned up. He was angry with Eliezer and Ithamar, Aaron's surviving sons, and asked, Why didn't you eat the sin offering in the sanctuary area? For it is especially holy, and he has assigned it to you to take away the guilt of the community and make atonement for them before the Lord. Since his blood was not brought inside the sanctuary, you should have eaten it in the sanctuary area, as I commanded. But Aaron replied to Moses, See, today they presented their sin offering and their burnt offering before the Lord. Since these things have happened to me, if I had eaten the sin offering today, would it have been acceptable in the Lord's sight? When Moses heard this, it was acceptable to him. Yesterday, we saw Jesus reveal his glory as the Son of God as he was transfigured before Peter, James, and John. Today, as Jesus has now come down from the Mount of Transfiguration, he continues his ministry and demonstrates his determination to continue all the way to the cross. The next day, when they came down from the mountain, a large crowd met him. Just then, a man from the crowd cried out, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son because he's my only child. A spirit seizes him. Suddenly, he shrieks, and it throws him into convulsions until he foams at the mouth. Severely bruising him, it scarcely ever leaves him. I begged your disciples to drive it out. They couldn't. Jesus replied, you unbelieving and perverse generation, how long will I be with you and put up with you? Bring your son here. As the boy was still approaching, the demon knocked him down and threw him into severe convulsions. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the boy, and gave him back to his father. And they were all astonished at the greatness of God. While everyone was amazed at all the things he was doing, he told his disciples, Let these words sink in. The Son of Man is about to be betrayed into the hands of men. But they did not understand this statement. It was concealed from them so that they could not grasp it, and they were afraid to ask him about it. An argument started among them about who was the greatest of them. But Jesus, knowing their inner thoughts, took a little child and had him stand next to him. He told them, Whoever welcomes this little child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes him who sent me. For whoever is least among you, this one is great. John responded, we, Master, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he does not follow us. Don't stop him, Jesus told him, because whoever is not against you is for you. When the days were coming to a close for him to be taken up, he determined to journey to Jerusalem. He sent messengers ahead of himself, and on the way they entered a village of the Samaritans to make preparations for him. But they did not welcome him, because he determined to journey to Jerusalem. When the disciples, James, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? But he turned and rebuked them. They went to another village. As they were traveling on the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus told him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Then he said to another, follow me. Lord, he said, first, let me go bury my father. But he told them, let the dead bury their own dead. But you go and spread the news of the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first, let me go and say goodbye to those at my house. But Jesus said to him, no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen.
Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.